Nibiru's played a sub-crucial role in the latest arc of Dragon Ball Super. He was there, he wasn't there, he didn't do anything, he wanted to do things. Nothing really ended up happening for him. He was almost torn and hesitant on what to do in this situation. He is sitting back watching Goku, who is now probably on his level, and he doesn't really know what to do. At the start of this story, there was a heavy point made on him. He had the option to either confront Moro at the beginning of the arc and take him out before anything could even happen, or do nothing. And Beerus did nothing, and he did nothing for the rest of the arc until, eventually, by the time he decided to step in, it was already too late. The Grand Priest, the higher up angels, called Beerus in to talk. This has been the most discreet plotline of the entire arc. It's been Beerus. What Beerus has done in this arc will define him for the next 10 years. There is a reason that you don't see Beerus at the end of Dragon Ball Z. Even beyond him not existing 30 years ago, not confronting and taking out Moro when he had the chance is only a small problem. Although Moro was a massive threat, in the end, Goku and Vegeta and everyone else, they had it pretty much under control. What is inexcusable? There is no defense for this. Angels aren't meant to die. This is the first time it's ever happened and it was under Beerus's watch in his universe. That is the worst case scenario for Beerus and it was slowly, slowly, subtly building up to this all throughout the arc. It's the most discreet plotline of this entire story. Beerus doing nothing. When you've been the strongest for the last 10 million years, maybe you would start to slack off. Maybe you would start to not care about anything, and then suddenly Goku comes in and he's stronger than you. That was Beerus' biggest weakness this entire story. By the time he wanted to step in to fight Moro, he had already been too indecisive throughout the arc, to where now, something's gonna happen to him. You've seen how Beerus reacts around people that are stronger than him. When he first saw Zeno for the first time, he freaked out, and it was really weird to see someone who was so godly and so powerful suddenly just act the complete opposite way in front of the Omni King. And it's a similar thing with the Grand Priest. The question is though, the Grand Priest is not going to be happy. Will he banish Beerus from Universe 7? Dethrone him from his God of Destruction tenure? I don't think so. I think Beerus is too cool of a character to dethrone out of God of Destruction status. But I do think he'll be banished from seeing Goku and visiting the Earth. Every time he has, it's just been trouble for him. And the way Toyotaro has been writing the story, he has been setting it up and angling it towards the end of Z. And if you remember back to the end of Z, there was no Beerus, there was no Whis, there was no mention of the gods. Maybe after the events of Moro, Beerus is no longer allowed to visit Earth and Goku just for casual meetings. That way, Beerus and Whis can just remain gods, and Goku and Vegeta can do what they did in this arc, and train in different ways. It's way too early to start building up a new God of Destruction for Universe 7. Vegeta's not there yet, I don't think he'd even want to do it. Oob's too young, Piccolo's not powerful enough, Goku's no chance of doing it, so Beerus will remain the God of Destruction, however, he'll just be banned from talking to Goku. That's what I think is gonna happen, although Dragon Ball, as predictable as it can be, Sometimes you just don't know, there could be a complete bombshell and the Grand Priest could just have enough of Beerus and he could end his life right there. Anything could happen, who knows, but I'm just glad we're going to be seeing more of Beerus in the next chapter and more of his justifications as to why he just doesn't get involved. I know narratively it's more of Goku Vegeta's story, but Beerus is the most powerful one there aside from Whis. I think he will be banished from Earth and that's why you never saw him in the end of DBZ. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.